Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today with a little challenge for you. I am really having spring fever, and I know so many of you are having spring, and I love to see your photos, but honestly, we're towards the end of March, and we're expecting another three inches of snow <laughs> in the next 24 hours here in Maine. So I'm, and I'm having, um, I'm not feeling well, I'm a little under the weather, so I could really use some cheering up and, uh, when I can't get out in the garden, the thing that cheers me up is lace and bling. And I know so many of you that are subbed to my channel also find some happiness in lace and bling. So we are going to have a lace and bling it challenge. And basically, um, all you have to do is share a little uh, handmade embellishment made with lace and bling. And if you want to show me your bling too, I'm not going to say no to that, <laughs> but you don't have to. If you just want to make the embellishment, that'll be great. So I am going to make an embellishment with you today using lace and bling. But I did want to show you kind of my, uh, some of my bling, right? So it's really scattered all out throughout my room, but um, I have this little tote. Isn't it just yummy? Uh, this is the one I grab when I need little pieces of bling. So I keep the little bits in here. Oh, I just love to dig through it. And then this is where I keep bigger pieces of bling. And <laughs> I know it's like a hot mess, but I, I try to put so much in here. So this is like where my bigger bling hangs out. But then I like to also have bling readily available on my desk. So I have this cute little <laughs> Isn't this adorable? Anyway, I just keep like little bling bits in there so I can quickly grab it when I'm creating something and I keep that on my desk. And then also on my desk, I have these adorable, oh, don't spill the things, these adorable little muffin cups that my friend um, Julie uh, altered when we did our muffin tin swap. That's uh, Julie, uh, paper play with Julie K. And so I keep that filled, look at how beautiful. I keep that filled with bling and this little crown sits on top. I try to keep, I keep the wrapper on here. I have one that's not wrapped on another one of these, but so it doesn't get dusty and it stays looking new. I like to keep the bigger pieces have the plastic still on them. So these beautiful little things are sitting here. And then I have a little box of like uh, Angel Dream Crafts bling. And then I have like bigger bling pieces that don't fit in the tote. And those are also in another spot. I know it's a bit ridiculous, but <laughs> I love the bling. But what I noticed as I was organizing my room is that I need to be more diligent about using the bling. <laughs> so I thought, let's have a little uh, bling challenge and uh, use some of those bling. So what I'm going to make today is going to be a little doily embellishment. And it doesn't matter to me if you're using paper or fabric or a combination of the things. It doesn't, does not even matter to me. But today I am going to use uh, fabric I think everything's fabric, yeah. But I'm also gonna use digitals from Ulala La Vintage Treasures. So I'm gonna put a link to Doreen's uh, channel below. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and tag Doreen as <clears throat> the first tag for my Lace and Bling It challenge. So tag your it, Doreen. <laughs> So when you uh, do your uh, video or post your pictures, please make sure and tag a friend to play along and tag me so that I can put everybody's stuff in a playlist so that I can share it with everyone. So anyone who needs a little bling and lace cheering up will know how to find it. <laughs> so I'm going to use this as my base and then I'm going to use a little snippet. I love this lace. And I just keep it on my desk. It was recently give, uh, gifted to me. So besides having a little pile of bling, I also have a little pile of lace snippets on my desk so I can easily grab. And that was in there. And I am also going to put uh, a dangle on my embellishment. I love dangle laces. This one came from Angel Dream Crafts, which you can also find a link to her channel below in my description box. And oh, I'm going to tag two friends. I'm also going to tag um, Nicola. Nicola, my friend, I'm going to tag you to also uh, lace and bling it. <laughs> I almost forgot. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and dig this, uh, glue this one down a little bit. I forgot to get out my, okay, see this guy? 
this little beetle looks like a ladybug but it isn't <sighs> i get infested with these little guys it's so super annoying okay they make appearances in many of my videos and uh, they aren't we're not invited um i cut these hearts out um from one of doreen's digitals and i'm using kind of a compilation of many of her kits uh using the bits I had left over. So I don't remember what kit these hearts came from, but I had originally printed them all out on fabric and I had a couple more that I didn't use. So I'm using those here, which I love them. They're so cute. I don't know if you can actually see the printed details on this one you can, cause I stickled one of the flowers. Isn't it cute? So I'm using those and I think that's gonna go there. I'm gonna make sure I glue everything down in an order. I think this goes next. So let's go ahead and put it on. So cute. Here's a snippet of the heart and tool uh, fabric I'm putting on everything that came from Angel Dream Crafts. I love it, Kim, thank you. It's so cute, okay. And then I'm gonna put a little, another little doily, which I can never decide. I think it goes this way. It won't matter. I'm gonna cover it up anyway. All right. Okay, is everybody glued down? Yes. Okay. And then I'm gonna put this little heart right there. So now we've got the lace. Now we need the bling. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do first is add this little snippet that I had in my stash because it's so cute and it's so beaded and sequined and adorable. And I think I'm gonna put it right there. Love it. I mean, making little embellishments is one of my favorite things because it you can get it done quickly and there's such a satisfaction <laughs> in that for me. So that's there. I love it. And I think I'm going to add this beautiful piece of bling right there. Yes. Let's do, oops. Let me see if I can hold on to it. Okay. Right in the corner. And then I have a littler piece of bling. I'm going to put in the corner of that heart. So cute. If I do say so myself. Okay. <laughs> Love it. And then I have this little snippet from one of Doreen's kits. A little cup of coffee. Yes, please. <laughs> so cute. And it's printed on fabric. And then I put it on top of uh, two different kinds of cheesecloth. And I think I just want to put it right there little coffee embellishment. Yes, I think yes. Another one of my favorite things. <laughs> and then I love doing this. I keep these little bling uh, frames also in my little dish with the bling in it um, on my table because I love to add these to things. And I did put one of Doreen's digitals in the middle that I had uh, glossy accented and stickled. It's so cute. And so I'm going to add that, I think, dangling off of here is where I want that. Lately, I just want to dangle stuff off of a bulb pin on every single thing I create. But look at how cute this little embellishment is. Lace and bling it, friends. <laughs> So use the hashtag lace and bling it um, when you create something and don't forget to tag me and I am so looking forward to everything you create. I can't wait to see it. Make sure you leave me a comment and a thumbs up and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.